Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll see how we can write a Java program to check if a given number is a pernicious number. This question appeared in ISA Computer Science 2025 theory paper. So according to the question, we have to define a class to accept a positive integer in binary number system from the user and display whether it is a pernicious number or not. Now, what is a pernicious number? A pernicious number is a binary number that has minimum of two digits and has prime number of ones in it. Let's try to understand it with few examples. Consider the number 101. Now 101 is a pernicious number because if you count the total number of ones in this number, we have two ones and two is a prime number. And that's why 101 is a pernicious number. Similarly, if you consider 10110, it contains three ones and three also is a prime number. So 10110 is also a pernicious number. But 1111 is not a pernicious number because it contains four ones and four is not a prime number. These are the details of the members of the class. The class name is there and then we have the data member to store the number in binary number, binary form. Then we have a constructor to initialize that data member. Then we have the accept function to input the number and this number should only contain zeros and ones. Then we have one uh, count one function which takes one integer as a parameter or as an argument and it counts and returns the number of ones in that argument using recursive technique. Then we have the check function to check whether the given number is a pernicious number or not by invoking the function count1 and display an appropriate message accordingly. So we have to define this class and include the constructor, all the functions, and we also need to define main to create an object and call the function accordingly to enable the task. So that's the question. Let's start writing the program. So let's start with the import statement. Then we create a class. Now it should have one data member now and then the constructor and here we are initializing num to 0 then we have the accept function so public void accept and we create a scanner object here because this is where we'll be inputting the number And we give a message to the user. Enter the binary number. And we'll be inputting it in num. So num is equal to integer dot percent in dot next line. Now we need to make sure that the number entered by the user contains only zeros and ones. So what we can do is, first of all here, we can convert this number into a string. So I can take string s equals string dot value of num. So using the value of function, we are converting this integer into a string. Now we are using the replace function in this string. So s is equal to s dot replace. So wherever there is a zero, suppose I want to replace it with a blank string or an empty string. Similarly, and the result is being stored in the original string only. 
and s is equal to s dot replace wherever there is a one again i am replacing it with a blank string so if the number contains only zeros and ones then after using replace function twice like this my string length will be zero so now if i check that s dot length is still not equal to zero that means it's an it's it's a it's an invalid binary number so we can print a message invalid binary number and after that we want to exit the program because we cannot proceed if the number is uh, not a binary number then we can call system.exit function to exit or to terminate the program so that's our accept function and now we will create the count one function so public the return type is int here so public int count one and it is taking one argument k now if k is zero then there are no ones in this number so i can these are some of the base cases for our recursion so in that case we directly return zero otherwise we are extracting the digit k modulus 10 will give us the last digit from the number and if this digit is one then we return because we have got a one and our count will increase accordingly. So return one plus and recursively now we are calling the function with the remaining digits. So k by 10 will remove the last digit and only will keep the remaining digits. Otherwise it will simply return count one k by 10 without plus 1 it will just return with the number that will contain the remaining number of digits so that's our recursive function which will count the total number of ones in the given binary number next we have to create the check function so public void check now here we can take a variable count and call the count1 function with num as the argument and then we take a variable f is equal to 0 and for i equals 1 i less than equal to count i plus plus Now, if count modulus i is 0, because we need to check whether we have uh, the count is a prime number or not. That's why we are writing this code. We are counting the total number of factors. So, in that case, f++. plus plus. Whenever we find a factor, f will increment. And later, if f is 2, then we conclude that count is prime and so we can say that num is a pernicious number else num is not a pernicious number and now we only need to create the main function so inside main we are going to create an object of this class
And through this object, first of all, we call the accept function. And then we call the check function. And check in turn will call the count1 function to get the job done. So our program is complete. Let's save and check the output. So Java and the file name. So it is asking for the binary number. So if I enter 101, you can see that yes, 101 is a pernicious number. Now let's try again and enter 10110. This is also a pernicious number because it contains three ones, which is a prime number. And if I enter 1111 and press enter, yes, it is not a pernicious number because it has got four ones and four is not a prime number. And if I enter an invalid binary number, let's say 10211. So this is an invalid binary number system, uh, invalid binary number. So it shows invalid binary number. The program terminates. So I hope you have understood how to write a Java program to check whether a given number is a pernicious number or not. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.